So I'm now at my new location. It's really quiet and peaceful. I had to drive like five miles down this really bumpy, like hilly, dirt, gravel road, just in between like miles and miles of fields of corn, basically. And I thought it was gonna be kind of sketchy because it's just in the middle of nowhere, um, but it is like really peaceful and quiet. I passed some really cute baby cows on the way here. Um, and it took me actually a lot longer because I kept stopping and taking photos because it was so pretty and the sun is starting to set. So it has that golden light. Um, by the way, these three flies got in here and they do not want to leave at all. They've been in here for over a day now. And even if I shoo them out, they come right back in. Like they like to be in here. And I saw them fornicating on my pillow. That's so rude. I mean, this is my house. But anyways, I think it's gonna be a really quiet night. And I don't think I'm gonna be creeped out. Um, there's one other person here. They're parked down by a lake. Um, and I wanna go down there, but I feel really awkward. I don't know if I, cause like I'll definitely have to talk to them. And I don't know, it's just really weird. I don't know, just cause I'm here by myself. Uh, but I, it's fine. <laughs> I'll probably go say hi to them if I go down to the lake. Cause it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, we'll see how the night goes in the morning. If I'm gonna feel weird like the last time I was sleeping out somewhere by myself. When I was at my, got to my last place, I was at um, the state park in Minnesota. It was really rainy and cold and I just kind of felt sad. Um, sad and like lonely. God, stupid flies. <laughs> I'm trying to tell a story about how sad I was. <laughs> Um, no, I was fine, but I know I realized it was just because this is a really big change. It hasn't even been a week and I don't know what I'm doing. Like this is the first time I've been out by myself like this and it is stressful. Like it is like traveling uh, and driving every day for hours. You're tired and it's boring sometimes and then you are sometimes in creepy spots with creepy noises at night by yourself and it's fine <laughs> um but i'm just trying to relax more and like nothing bad has happened it's all been really good experiences i've been all the places i've gone to have been really pretty um and nice so i'm just trying to be more excited and less worried because it's gonna be fine they just they need to go I need to get out of here. I need food, but everything I have to cook. And there's like hella mosquitoes outside. So I'm not going out there. <laughs> I need to get one of those single burners. Um, there's not really anything I can cook. I can eat trail mix. Or cold soup.
Hi. It's cold. <clears throat> Last night I heard some kind of animal like brushing up against the van, like on the bottom of the van. windy so I don't know if this sound is gonna turn out I slept pretty okay last night it was still a little bit creepy um there ended up there was one other person when I came but another person ended up coming later in the night um, and they were kind of like parked farther down from me and I parked away from them because when I drove in there's only one other person and I didn't know if it was gonna be super awkward and weird if I just pulled up close to them so I kind of like went farther away from them um, but it was still like a tiny bit creepy um, I heard some sort of animal like walking around my van and like brushing up against it and it they went underneath the van um, and then I opened the blinds and I saw just I could only make out just like a white blob but it was like running across the field it was probably just like a cat or a dog or like a possum but it was still a little bit creepy it could have been like a ghost or an alien I'm not leaving that off the table <laughs> but um and it was like kind of chilly like towards the morning but it wasn't too bad and there was a light over by the dock um, that the other car is parked underneath but I was really glad there was a light and also the moon was really bright um, so it wasn't as pitch black dark as it was when I stayed in the creepy bear forest so that made me feel a lot better uh, but I have been waking up super early pretty much when the Sun comes up starts rising up I wake up um, which is nice I like waking up early um, but this spot is really peaceful and quiet. But I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go to, I'm in North Dakota right now, sort of at the beginning of North Dakota from Minnesota, like towards the border of Minnesota and North Dakota. And I'm gonna drive a few hours and I'm gonna go towards the border of Montana and North Dakota um, to like um, a grassland spot and hopefully that spot's okay and not creepy. <laughs> uh, so. My window is so dirty with bugs, my camera won't even focus on the foreground. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say that I did say hi to the other person at the camp and I walked down to the lake and I was like, hey, how's it going? And they were just like, 
so that was <laughs> that was that was it. <laughs> So I just got to my next spot in the grasslands area. Um, there's a lot of people here, but it's really, all the spots are really spread out. There's a lot of people in RVs and I saw some people with pop-up campers and stuff. So um, I'm gonna go try to find the place with the best view. And I'm gonna try to go all the way up this big mountain hill thing. I wanted <laughs> there's a bee <laughs> okay I don't know it's really big uh, I'm not gonna go up there there's a really tall hill so I'm gonna turn around it's probably a good view but there's other good views around it's really bright sorry <laughs> So I don't even know where to begin with the insane day I just had. So I'll just start from the beginning. So the day was going really great, pretty good. I was driving through North Dakota and from the last spot in like the cornfields. Um, and I was driving for several hours and it was just all grass, like for miles and hours and miles and hours just all grass I've never seen so much f grass in my entire life um, and then suddenly the terrain just completely changed like the landscape was like mountainy hills um, and it was so pretty I've never really seen like such a drastic change in the landscape before um, and it was so pretty I pulled off to the side um, where there was a little pull off um, with like a scenic view and I took some pictures and it was so pretty um, and then I came to um, this spot on the national grasslands um, and it's really pretty and I like rolled up to this really nice spot which I showed you earlier um, but if you remember before when I was driving in I was like oh I want to drive up this hill and I was like no that hill's scary I'm not gonna drive up that hill so then I got to this spot. Well, after that, I was like, I should drive up that hill because it might be really pretty up there. <laughs> I might have a great view view up there. Um, that was a bad idea uh, because my van got stuck driving up that hill and nothing I did could get my van unstuck. So I had to like walk all the way down this like windy dirt road down a mountain and asked like this really nice guy and his dog to help me um, and he like brought his van up and uh, tied a rope onto the back of my hitch and pulled it out uh, so that was like I'm so grateful for that <laughs> for his help but for a second I was like oh my god like what have I done like how how am I gonna get unstuck there's like no one around here and I don't know who to call like do I call the police or what I don't know uh, thankfully it wasn't too bad and we were able to pull it out <laughs> but uh, yeah that was that was that ordeal There's cows over there, and I high key want them to come over here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's been, it got really cold last night. It was dipped down into the 30s. Um, and again, I left one of my windows open. I, <laughs> cause I was um, cooking in here on my propane stove. So I opened, had my doors open and one of the windows open to vent ventilate in here. Um, so it was really cold, but I got my uh, sleeping bag out. So it was, I was still like, okay, but it was very cold. Um, <clears throat> but I really like this spot a lot. I don't really want to leave, but I do want to go see other places. Um, the only downside um, from this spot is that it's extremely windy, um, and actually there was, like, um, a wind warning, um, thing for, like, high winds, and it, th this place is up on a hill, like, really elevated, so it's super windy, and my solar panels keep blowing over, <clears throat> but, um, other than that, I am getting a lot, um, pretty good power from my solar panels to recharge my batteries and stuff. Um, but because it's so windy, um, it's super loud, especially at nighttime. Um, the wind wakes me up quite a lot. And this van is really susceptible to like any movement. Like even if I like do a little bit of movement, the whole van like shakes so when the it's so windy um the wind is like rocking the van like quite a lot um and it keeps me up um and speaking of things that are keeping me up at night um last night i heard this rustling sound inside the van and at first i was like oh it's just like um, I have this bag, um, a garbage bag, and I had put some stuff in there, um, before I went to, right to bed, um, and, or, like, in the middle of the night or something, and, um, I was like, oh, it's just the, the bag is, like, sliding over or, like, whatever, readjusting, whatever, um, then I heard the sound again. I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's just, you know, I don't know, the van is rocking, it's windy and stuff is like kind of sliding over a little bit. Um, but then I heard like a chewing sound, like it sounded like chewing on cardboard or something. And I was like, oh no, there's probably a mouse in here. Um, and I kept hearing it and... Um, but this morning I kind of checked around and I didn't really see anything, any signs of it. Like, and I, I heard it several times throughout the night. Um, and anything that I thought it would have been chewing, nothing was like chewed. Like I had a box of, um, pasta that, um, I, like, I have some storage bins that I have food in, but after I made pasta, like, um, during the day, I didn't put it back, I just, like, tossed it on top of the storage bin, um, and I thought it was, would have been chewing that, but there were no signs of it anywhere, um, but this morning I opened my front doors, um, cause that's like kind of where I heard the sound up there. So maybe if it's here, it will leave. Um, but <laughs> I had a dream about the mouse. <laughs> um, so in my dream, I was inside my van, but inside, when you go inside my van, it was like the inside was like a house, almost like in Harry Potter when they go in that really small tent but then the inside it's like really a big space so you go inside my van and it's basically a house um and so I'm in my house and I see a gigantic like rat basically like huge and but it's standing upright like a person and it's walking around like a person 
and it goes over to the door and it's like hmm, like trying to figure out how to get out so i'm like oh i'm gonna go open the door for it so i can leave and then i go over there but then it gets really angry and like at me and it starts growling and hissing at me and starts acting like a like a rabid animal like crazy and angry and I was really scared so I grab a bottle of olive oil and I'm like oh I'm gonna use this to defend myself <laughs> um and then it starts charging at me and so I take the olive oil and I'm like Puh! and it like slides across the door um uh, across the floor towards the door and I was like oh I'm gonna like try to like hit it outside so then it keeps charging at me and, and I'm like oh but it keeps coming at me real crazy so I'm like ah and then <laughs> and then it like lunges at me and bites onto my hand and I was like oh my god it probably has rabies so I take the olive oil and I'm like ah, like trying to hit it um and then at that exact point in my dream I wake up because I hear the like chewing sound again so <laughs> I I mean not that I mean I don't like that I'm having like stress dreams about this stuff but it is really funny that I keep having weird dreams about this stuff that's happening and how they're how my dream is like manifesting that into something really strange um but um <clears throat> so i don't know i might try to leave and go to another spot today but i'm having some trouble like my computer won't start maybe i don't know if it's because it's really cold and i've had it plugged in for a while and it's not charging and my phone is like every time i go into an app it the app just crashes so i don't know what the deal is <clears throat> um so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet if i'm gonna stay here for another night or try to find another spot i like to make it to billings montana or like that direction which is a little bit over four hours from here um just i want to be able to see more stuff before the weather gets really cold because i did leave really late in the year and it's gonna be fall soon it's i mean it's basically the beginning of fall um and of course like not that i have to stop when it gets cold i can like go south but i do want to see more of the northern parts if i can before it gets too cold <clears throat> for now you know is so beautiful i've never seen so many beautiful sunsets in my whole life Burnt my soup